Hello, Bess. Good morning. How are you feeling right now? Wow, well, it's pretty awesome. You can also use our in-call messages if you want to answer. By the way, am I audible enough? Can you hear me clearly? That's wonderful. Okay, thank you. How about, can you see me clearly, class? All right, it's pretty awesome. Um, before anything else, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Teacher Edmund, and I will be your math teacher for today. And these are my infos if you have any question in regards to our subject, okay? Welcome to the world of mathematics. Before anything else, I would like to call uh, Miss Jean Navarro. Would you like to lead us in our opening prayer, Miss Jean Navarro? Okay, that's wonderful. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much, uh, Jean Navarro, for that wonderful opening prayer. So, as we all know, that attendance matters. Okay, I would like to ask everyone to open your cameras for our attendance and photo documentation. You can also do a screenshot. Okay, one, two, three, smile. Okay, that's wonderful. Um, tell your classmates class um, who's not yet here. Okay, and please tell them to join. I will need them 15 minutes. Okay, I will be giving them a 15 minutes grace period. I will be recording our discussion today so that if anyone didn't make it to attend our virtual class because of free internet connection and some other valid reasons, they can still catch up with our lessons. I will just be sending uh, this recording to so someone who has a valid reason. Okay, is that clear to every one of you? And reminder class. Yeah. Uh, we're proper grooming, especially in wearing uniforms, even if we are in a virtual class. Please wear your, uni your uniforms, like a department shirt, white t-shirt. Is that clear? Okay, thank you. You can now turn off your camera so that you can save your mobile data and Wi-Fi connection. Okay. I hope that you still recall our, recall our topic last time. It was about a fraction. I would like to test. If you are uh, listening to our discussion before, so I have pizza and it has eight slices. Okay, lovely. Is lovely available here? Okay, that's wonderful. I'm lovely. What if I eat one slice? Of pizza, how much slices would remain? Okay, what is the answer? Okay, yes, seven. That's pretty awesome. Thank you so much. And lovely follow up question what would be a uh, fraction of this illustration given? Seven eighths. Yes, that's absolutely correct. Thank you so much for that. Lovely. Okay. Very good. Very good, lovely. Uh, now let's move on with the next question. What if I eat uh, two slices of pizza? How many slices would uh, remain? I would like to hear it from Jane Navarro. Yes, Jane, you want to answer? How many slices would remain? After I eat two slices of pizza. Yes, six. And would you like to convert it into a fraction? Yes. It is six, eight, based on our illustration here. All right. And then um, what if I eat three slices of pizza, Jane? How many slices would remain? Yes, absolutely, it is 5, and what is the fraction of it? Illustration. 5, 8. Wow. That is awesome, James. Thank you so much for that. All right. 
I would like to ask you guys what is fraction. Is there anyone from the group who would like to answer? Yes, Angeline, what is a your fraction? Okay. That's awesome. Yes, a fraction is used to represent the portion or a part of the whole thing. It represents the equal part of the whole. A fraction has two parts, namely numerator and denominator. The number on the top is called the numerator, and the number on the bottom is the denominator. Excellent. Thank you so much for that, Angeline Flores. Okay, how about the proper fraction, Bernie? Can you still recall about the proper fraction? Yes. Well done, Bernie. Fraction is a fraction which the numerator is less or of lower degree than the denominator. Hanika, how about the example of a proper fraction? Can you give some? Okay, that's wonderful. So, class, these are the examples of a proper fraction. One half, one fourth. Three fourths, two nine, three fifths, etc. Okay, thank you so much for all of those people and students or students who are participating. <laughs> How about the improper fraction? Who can still recall the meaning of the improper fraction? Yes, is there anyone from the group? Yes, Nova. Okay, that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Nova, for that. In improper fraction is a fraction in which the numerator is greater than the denominator. Lucky, would you like to give it uh, an example of improper fraction? Five, four? Wow, you got it. That's absolutely wonderful. Alright, so this is the meaning of the improper fraction, a fraction in which the numerator is greater than the denominator. That's why your example, Lucky, is correct. Here are the other examples of our improper fraction. 7, 4, 5, 2, 6, 5, 11, 9. These are some of the examples also. And how about the meaning of the mixed number? We can still recall the meaning of the mixed number. What is the mixed number? Yes, Jane. All right, it's wonderful. Thank you so much for that answer. Actually, improper fraction, a mixed uh, fraction is defined as a fraction formed by combining whole number and a fraction. So there is a whole number and a fraction. How about you, Meredos? Would you like to give uh, an example of a mixed fraction. All right, one and one half. That's wonderful. Thank you. And here are the other examples of the mixed number: two and one fourth, one and one half, one and three fifth, one and three nine, two and uh, three four. This always remember that the mixed number or mixed fraction has one whole number and a fraction. Okay, awesome. All right, our topic for today is changing improper fraction to mixed number. Are you ready to learn something today? Okay, that's wonderful. When doing some calculations on fractions such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, there is a need to convert it to the right forms that are valid for some operations. Mixed numbers need to be converted to improper fractions in some certain time. Okay? Improper fractions will be converted to mixed numbers. This is a topic that uh, every student should learn perfectly in order uh, for the students to avoid mistakes in the future. So mastering the art of conversion greatly helps a lot. 
changing of fractions to mixed numbers and vice versa is very helpful in the field of mathematics. As children, it is very important that uh, we need to know the step-by-step -step conversion of mixed numbers to improper fractions and vice versa. Now, how can we convert improper fractions to a mixed number? Is there someone who has an idea? All right, that's good. You don't have any idea. That's why we are going to discover new topics for today. All right. So as we all know that we, in our situations, when you need to add mixed numbers and a fraction, to do this, you need to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions. Then apply the standard rules in adding fractions. All right. These are the easy, simple steps to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions since the denominator represents the total parts of a whole and mixed numbers represent the whole parts and fractions. Uh, you need to multiply the denominator to the whole then the numerator. So let's uh, see uh, the step-by-step -step procedure. The first step that we have to do is to multiply the denominator to the whole number and then save the result. So uh, our example here is 2 and 3 fourths. The denominator here is 4. All right, and we have to multiply the denominator to the whole number and save the result. So the whole number that we have here is 2. So here is, uh, see, so here how it goes. 4 times 2, okay? Then, what we are going to do next, add the result and the numerator. So, what is the numerator in our given fraction? So, we have the 3, which is uh, the given numerator, okay? So, what we are going to do is to Add the result of the 4 times 2, uh, and the result will be 8. Then we will just add the numerator in our given mixed number, which is 3. And then we will just copy the denominator, because in the step number 3, the denominator remains the same. So, so with the new numerator and the same denominator, you now have the correct improper fraction so as you can see here we have 11 over 4 did you understand uh, how to convert mixed numbers to improper fraction class okay that's pretty awesome are there any clarifications about converting mixed fractions to improper number okay now let's talk about converting. Uh, okay, one moment. Now let's talk about converting uh, improper fractions to mixed fractions. Are you ready, class, for the next topic? That's awesome. When people see an improper fraction, they will have a hard time grasping the meaning. Off, but if you show it in mixed numbers, they will easily understand. Just like uh, what was given a while ago, 11 4 is always harder to understand than uh, 2 and 3 4, right? So, mixed numbers is the essence that gives clarification and simplicity of the nature of complex fractions. Mixed numbers will always be used for human readability while an improper fraction is used mainly for mathematical operations. So how do we convert uh, improper fractions back to mixed numbers? You just divide the numerator to the denominator and the quotient will be the whole number. So we will talk about it step by step. Don't worry. So here is how it goes. The first step that we have to do is to divide the numerator to the denominator. So what our given is 11 4. 
or 11 over 4, you can uh, read it the same. So what we are going to do in the first step is we have to divide the numerator to the denominator. So this could be our solution, 11 divided by 4. You can use the long division method. It's very important that uh, you will be using the long division method here because uh, we will be needed uh, the remainder. Okay. So, on our next step, the quotient will be the new whole number class. So, what is uh, the quotient class that we get here? Okay, we have, we got two. All right. So, as we, as I've said, the quotient will be the new whole number. Okay. So next step, the remainder will be the new numerator. Okay. So the remainder that we got is 3. Okay. So we already have 2, which is going to be our whole number. And the 3 is uh, going to be our numerator okay and the denominator will remain the same okay so we have two and three fourths so uh, the mixed number of the improper fraction 11 over 4 is two and three fourths okay did you get it class before we proceed with our samples, do you have any questions or clarifications about our uh, presentation? All right. Converting mixed numbers and improper fractions and vice versa is always easy. You just need to follow every step. Okay. So now let's move on with our example. My mom and I bought five pizzas. While we're on our way home, we ate some slices. Illustrate four and one for it and change it into an improper fraction. So how can we illustrate it? The four and one for it. Okay. So here how it goes. So we have four cool pizza and and the last one is we have one fourth slice. Okay. Now we are going to talk about the given numbers here. So we have to find out first what is the cool number in this pizza. Okay, now that, what is the whole number? Four? Yes, that's wonderful. We have four. Okay, how about Bernie? Would you like to give our fraction here? One fourth? Yes, it's absolutely wonderful. So now, Mary Chris, based on the illustration, can you give the mixed fraction? Yes, we have four and one fourth. Very good, Chris. And now let's convert it into an improper fraction because we already have mixed fraction. So now let's convert four and one fourth into improper fraction. Again. What is our first step that we have to do? Yes, Mary Rose. Okay. Excellent. You are listening to me. The first step that we have to do is to multiply the denominator to the whole number and save the result. That's awesome. So again, what is the whole number that we have here? And the denominator. So we have 
the denominator of 4 and the whole number, which is 4. So now we have 4 times 4. So what is 4 times 4, Ramjeline? Yeah, 16. So this is how it goes. We just have to copy again the denominator. And then the result on the second step, the result of our multiplication that we've done is we will be adding the numerator. So the sum is the new numerator. So do you think, uh, John Lynn, what will be the sum of uh, the numerators that we have? Yes. 16 plus 1 is 17. So again, we will just copy the denominator. It will be the same as usual. So the improper fraction that we have here is 17 fourths. So you guys are doing great. Thank you. Thank you for your uh, participation with the new numerator and the same denominator. Now we have the correct improper fraction of 4 and 1 half, which is 17 over 4. And now how can we convert 17 over 4 to a mixed fraction? Let's do it step by step again. All right, again, what is the first step when we are about to convert improper fraction to a mixed number? You can still recall. Yes, Nova. Okay, that's absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for that answer. So we have to divide first the numerator to the denominator. So what we have here is 17 over 4. So what we are going to do is to divide them. We are going to use here the long division method. So here is how it goes, 17 divided by 4. What we got is, yes, you are correct, 4 remainder 1. Okay. Again, so the quotient will be the new whole number. So what is the quotient that we have here? Um, MC? Yes, 4. You're absolutely correct. Thank you. And our next step, the remainder will be the new numerator. Again, what is the remainder that we got? Um, G Navarro? 1. That's absolutely correct. Thank you so much. The remainder will remain the same. Again, so we have the remainder, which is 4. So now we have 4 and 1 fourth. Well done, class. Give yourselves a virtual clap, a round of applause. <laughs> anyway, before we proceed to our pre-assessment class, do you have any clarifications, any questions in regards with uh, in regards with converting improper fractions to mixed number and vice versa. Okay. So now let's move on with our pre assessment. Here is the instruction. Please listen carefully. I will just repeat it once or twice, even twice. Okay, if the fraction is improper fraction, change it into mixed fraction. And if the fraction is mixed fraction, change it into an improper fraction. Do you understand that? Wonderful. You only have five minutes to answer this activity. We only have uh, five questions. This, just, this is just to prove that you are truly listening to our discussion. Don't forget to write your name, grade, and section. I will repeat, don't forget to write your name. Because if you are not going to write your name, I will not be able to identify who the paper is this. You have to capture your activity and your scratch paper. Then submit it in our Google Classroom. So even if it's... Uh, 
even if you are going to submit your uh, paper in our Google Classroom, you have to write your name. Uh, you have to strictly write your name. Don't forget to click the turn in button. Five minutes starts now. All right. All right, thank you so much, class, for answering our simple activity. I've seen all your answers, and you did well. You all did well. Congratulations for that. <laughs> I'm very happy. And always remember, my dear students, when doing some calculations on fractions, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, there is a need to convert it to the right form that are valid for some operation. Mixed numbers need to be converted to improper fractions in some certain times. Improper fractions will be converted to mixed numbers. So this is one of the best topics that every one of you should learn perfectly in order for you to avoid mistakes in the near future. Mastering of the art of conversion greatly helps a lot, right? Because changing fra uh, improper fractions to mixed numbers and vice versa is very helpful in the field of mathematics. Do you still have any questions or clarifications about our topic for today? Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, now let's move on with our quiz. In test one, answer the following questions. Choose the letter of the best answer. In test 2, if the fraction is improper fraction, change it into mixed fraction. And if the fraction is mixed fraction, you have to change it into improper fraction. Okay? Then convert it into the simplest form. Okay? If needed. You will be given a 15 minutes to answer your quiz. Then take a picture of your quiz. Then submit it to our Google Classroom. Don't forget to write your name, grade, and section. All right? Do it in a uh, one whole yellow paper or short or long bond paper. Is that clear? Excellent. Okay, class, avoid cheating or asking to your classmates. If you have any questions, I'm giving you your moment to ask questions right at this moment. Okay? Is that clear? Pretty awesome. Honesty is the best policy. I will be giving you 15 minutes to answer your quiz. All right, your time starts now. All right, thank you so much for answering with our activity. And I've seen all of your answers in our Google Classroom. And thank you because you all submitted your task. For today. So now let's move on with our assignment. Kindly read about changing a fraction into a decimal point. Make an advanced reading about this topic because we are going to talk about this in the next meeting. And now for our closing prayer, let's bow our head and feel the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you so much for this wonderful day that you have given to us, Lord. Uh, thank you for giving us the knowledge and wisdom today that we can apply in the near future. Lord, uh, we allow you, Lord, to lead us, to guide us as we walk through our journey, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for everyone, for their participation. May you, Lord, bless them, provide them everything that they need, and on behalf of their family, may you, Lord God, keep them safe even if we, uh, they are in their home, Lord Jesus Christ. 
thank you, Lord, for being faithful to us, Lord. Give us more strength, Lord God. Knowledge, open our hearts and minds, Lord God, in everything that we are going to learn in this life, Lord God, especially in this pandemic. Thank you so much, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Again, my name is Teacher Edmund Jobs, your math teacher. And again, if you have any questions, queries about our subject, don't forget to contact me. Okay? I said don't forget because I am always here for you as your teacher. And you can contact me if you have any questions or queries about our subject. Thank you again and God bless.